Hey everyone! I recently got a cooking torch and I'm really excited to use it. So, in this video we will be making creme brulee. In a saucepan over medium heat, add 2 cups of heavy cream and 1 eighth teaspoon of salt. Stir the heavy cream until it begins to simmer. Once it starts to simmer, take it off the heat and let it cool for 15 minutes. Make sure to pour your cream through a strainer when it has finished cooling. Next, separate 5 eggs and place the egg yolks in a large bowl. Then add a half a cup of sugar and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beat everything together with an electric mixer until your mixture becomes a light yellow color. Once your egg mixture has become thick and a light yellow color, slowly add in your cream. Make sure not to add in your cream too quickly or else you might cook your eggs. Once you've added about half of your cream mixture, you can go ahead and pour it in faster. Once you've added all of your cream, you are done making your custard. This is optional, but you can pour your custard into a large measuring cup to make it easier to pour, or you can ladle your custard into your ramekins. Next, pour the custard into 6 ounce ramekins. Fill your ramekins while also leaving a little room at the top. Once you've poured all of your custard into the ramekin, set them to the side. Next, in a baking pan, add hot water. Then add your ramekins into the baking pan. Make sure the boiling water is halfway up the sides of your ramekins. You can also add your ramekins into the baking pan first and then add the hot water, whichever method is easier for you. Then place them in the oven at 300 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes or until your custard has set. Take your ramekins out of the water bath and then let them cool for about one hour or until they are at room temperature. Cover your creme brulee in plastic wrap and then place in the fridge for 4 hours or overnight. Take it out of the fridge and add about a teaspoon of sugar on top. You just want to add enough so you make a thin layer of sugar on the top of your custard. Then, slowly torch the top of the sugar to caramelize it. Once you've caramelized your sugar, let your creme brulee cool. Either set it to the side, or you could place it in the fridge to cool. 
Once your creme brulee has cooled, you can go ahead and enjoy! And this is the finished result! The creme brulee came out great and it tasted so so good. It was sweet and delicious. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!